Hello viewers, Fractional Calculus Lecture 3. In the previous lecture, we constructed the formula of Grunewald Letkin of dr Fractional Derivative and in this video I am going to take some elementary function and apply that definition to find its fractional derivative. Ok, I will start with the constant function. Let's take f of x is equal to c but before I need to write the formula as before the alpha order derivative of a function f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 1 over h to the power alpha summation j from 0 to n negative 1 to the power j gamma of alpha plus 1 over j factorial and gamma of alpha minus j plus 1 and the function x minus j h. Ok, for this, for the first function, for the first function I will take f of x is equal to constant. So that means f of x minus j h will remain constant. I will find its first order derivative like I want to find the integer order derivative it means I will take alpha is 1 when alpha is 1 n is also 1 ok now this becomes the constant whose first derivative is equal to limit h tends to 0 1 over h to the power 1 summation j from 0 to 1 negative 1 to the power j gamma of alpha which is 1 so 1 plus 1 which is 2 j factorial and gamma of alpha which is 1 minus j plus 1 so it is 2 minus j into constant c. I can put the constant outside it is limit h tends to 0 1 over h and now the summation has only two values j0 and j1 when j is 0 this becomes negative 1 to the power 0 which is 1 gamma of 2 over j0 which is now 0 factorial which is 1 and gamma of 2 minus j which is 0 so gamma of 2 and then we have j is 1 negative 1 to the power 1 which is negative 1 into gamma of 2 whole over 1 factorial which is again 1 gamma 2 minus 1 which is 1 so gamma of 1 that is ok now c limit h tends to 0 1 over h gamma of 2 as we know that gamma n is or we can use the previous notation gamma n plus 1 is n factorial which means gamma of 2 is 1 factorial which is 1 and gamma of 1 is 0 factorial which is again 1. So gamma 2 and 2 they are cancels so I am left with 1 and negative gamma 2 is 1 gamma 1 is again 1 and here it is c limit h tends to 0 1 over h it is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so everything is 0 this means first derivative of constant is 0 as it is true in classical calculus. This means this definition matches with the results of classical 1.